At Sucre, we begin the responsive design process by outlining the use cases, the consumer's intent, and the key conversion points on desktop, tablet, and smartphone. We use web analytics, historical data, and consumer research to support our approaches. We then start to define the information architecture, navigation, and page structure with low fidelity layouts or lo-fis. This is a fast way to create multiple options for layouts and start to identify challenges that we have to overcome. In this phase, we are also identifying the paths that a consumer will take while navigating on desktop, tablet, and smartphone. Next, our user experience team establishes the layout, grid structure, and breakpoints. It is important to keep a fluid layout rather than relying on three hard breaks because devices are rapidly changing size and aspect ratio as new devices are constantly entering the market. We always start by creating a base set of grid layouts and standards for titles, subtitles, navigation, and body fonts. This is very important because it helps us create consistency across layouts, significantly reduces the code complexity, and also has SEO benefits by ensuring the page structure follows SEO best practices from the beginning. We use this guide to create interactive and responsive wireframes, giving an idea of how the site will feel and function on each device. Just taking your desktop content and shrinking it down to mobile is not the right approach. Smartphone users are often looking to make a transaction in the shortest amount of time. Tablet users often spend more time on site than even desktop users, so tailoring your content approach per device is critical. After refinement of the user experience, our art directors apply the final design to the wireframes to bring the brand to life in its new digital format. Then, our development team builds all the interaction states. You must tailor those interactions per device. For example, rollovers on desktop must be converted to touch interactions on mobile. Clicking carousels should be swipe enabled on mobile. Before launch, we conduct QA testing on numerous devices. We don't rely on automated testing software. There is a tactile aspect of navigating on a mobile device because you are tapping, touching, and swiping. It's important that you physically test to see how everything feels and reacts on a mobile device. And don't be shy to go back and make changes to create a better experience for your customers. Post launch, it is essential that you listen to your audience and adapt accordingly. Make sure that you have an in-depth analytics implementation and watch the user behavior on your website. Take suggestions, keep an open mind, and listen to the analytics.